One of the accusations leveled against me is the one that I least understand. And that's that I'm telling everyone that the world is not a horrible place. It's a wonderful place. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that uh, things all even out in the end. Uh, there's as much sorrow as there is joy in this world, and there's as much um, justice as there, in in, as there is injustice, and everything is pretty much one gigantic gray area that we can't really be sure of. Um, now, what's interesting about that is, in many ways, that is even more negative than the antinatalist point of view, because the antinatalist point of view says all we have to do is kill off, well, I'm sorry, not kill off, but uh, allow the human race to sort of peter out and we will have eliminated suffering. That's, in my opinion, kind of a shortcut and a crutch. I think that the universe and its fundamental reality is a mixture of everything. And I don't think that any of these quick fixes are uh, going to uh, solve anything. I think that it's up to each and every one of us as individuals to find our own heaven and hell. Uh, there's no no payoff, there's no shortcut, there's no way out of this. Which, if anything, is even more depressing and negative than the view that um, um, life is horrible and if we just let ourselves die off, everything is solved. Th even that isn't an escape. So how on earth this takes uh, on the appearance of everything is wonderful, I'll never know. But... Um, it's interesting that uh, that people actually seem to see the world in that sort of black-white fashion, and it's very hard for people to get beyond that. Also, um, it's also interesting to point out that supposedly dumb people, wise fools, uh, like, for example, Forrest Gump, understand that the world is both. Thank you.